Hello everyone, my name is Ricky and I love nostalgia. Isn't it great? I mean, sometimes I even get nostalgic about nostalgia. Hello everyone, my name is Ricky and I love nostalgia. Isn't it great? I mean, sometimes I even get nostalgic about nostalgia. <sighs> Good times. Good times. And I recently went to Retropalooza and more on that later, but that kind of got me to think about a tag I was tagged in many moons ago called the old school versus new school tag. And originally I wasn't going to partake in the tag because I'm like, duh, I'm old school, but after looking at the questions, I was like, oh, oh, maybe this will be a fun tag. So Josh, thanks so much for tagging me, and without further ado, the old school versus new school tag. Begin! Coming soon to Disney Video or DVD. I would have to say new movies on DVD for this one because I love watching extra features. Like, I'm not gonna buy a DVD unless it basically has really great extra features. Unless the movie was that good, in which in that case it really would have extra features. But typically, I don't wanna own a DVD um, or own a movie unless I'm going to rewatch it because I like to create like a library of awesome movies that I love. New music downloads or old music on cassettes? Despite the fact that I was one of the few people in the early 2000s still rocking a cassette player, um, I'm gonna have to give this one to new music downloads because I love being able to download Taylor Swift's Shake It Off immediately and listen to it as many times as I want to in my car because the hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. New video games at home or retro video games at arcades? This is an easy one, hands down, arcade games. I love going to the arcade, especially when I would go to the arcade at the movie theater and play DDR. Uh, plus I've seen a lot of console games be turned into arcade games because I think that just playing in an arcade or on an arcade cabinet is just, it's the right way. I feel like it's the right experience for me at least. One Saturday morning, bing, 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 bing. hands down 90s cartoons on Saturday morning. 90s cartoons were just so special and there were so many different great TV shows. I mean, we had the Weird Al show, we had the Animaniacs, we had all of the things that Warner Brothers and Spielberg made. We had Batman the Animated Series, just the quality and the fun and just, ah, oh, yes. Saturday morning, 90s cartoons any day of the week. But for the sake of this question, Saturday. <laughs> Chat for hours by text or talk for hours on the phone? I'm actually one of the few people I know who actually like talking on the phone. Um, I just like talking to people because texting, you can you can infer things and it's fine and I get it, but I, I always prefer talking on the phone. So this one goes up to talking, old school. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the pin boy, evening TV. As a kid, my parents were subscribed to the Houston Chronicle. Houston people, shout out. Anytime my parents got the newspaper, I would always go for the comics. So basically, that's how I've treated newspapers my entire life. So I would probably have to say online because I read a lot of web comics and web comics are just top, top notch web comics. You're, you're, you're doing it right. So I'd say that online. Motion control sport games or going outside to play sports. I hardly sports as it is. So if I'm able to play sports with air conditioning, I'm gonna choose that option. So this one goes to the sports games on the game console. So that's old school versus new school tag. Technically, since I answered more things new school than old school, I'm technically new school, but I'm old school in my heart. There's, I think new school technology harmonized with old school content would be just the perfect utopia of nostalgia, which was Retropalooza, se flawless segue, flawless segue. Retropalooza is an awesome old school gaming convention just with all of the best of old school gaming and so much also like new school tech, like there was a modded version of Sonic the Hedgehog where you can play as Sally as the title character, like all of that, that, that magic, that magic would not be able to exist if it wasn't for new school technology. So like, uh, I love it, I love it. I think it's so great. I got to hang out with Andre from Black Nerd Comedy and he was just a joy as always to see. He even ran to Hipster Sonic and I got to hear his brother and sister play in a band and it's really cool but you've probably never heard of it. It's super underground. And I got to hang out with my friend Natalie Green who is just 
a phenomenal cosplayer, and I got to hang with my buddy Jeffrey, and we we bought all the comics. Bought a lot of comics, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. And I highly recommend going next time it happens, which would be next year. So, if you're gonna go to Retropalooza, or this sounds like a thing that you would wanna go to, I highly recommend it, and I'll see you there next year. And I would like to tag Natalie Green, C.S. Andreas, and Mo Chocolate to partake in the old school versus new school tag. What do you guys think? Do you think you're more old school or new school? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ricky. I like making fun nerdy videos every week. And if you'll excuse me, I've got some Saturday morning cartoons to watch. Forever. Till the end of time. Till the end of time!